Hey everyone, Morgan here. So I have a review of the Ozark Trail Multi-Tool. Now, I picked this up for $10 at Walmart. This is very budget friendly and I've shown it in uh, a video or two, I think just one video, but I have used it out in the field several times since then. And let me tell you, I'm super impressed with this $10 multi-tool so far. There are a couple little quirks with it, but for the most part, it is very good and I highly recommend it. And let's get into it. So it comes with this kind of cheapo case, you know, what can you expect for $10? You know, you, it's not terrible, but you know, you're probably gonna wanna replace the, the sheath here. You know, it has a little belt loop, it comes with these really nice pliers and wire cutter there. Ding, ding, ding. Now, as you can see, as you can hear, there's a little scraping going on there. I think the metal is actually scraping against each other, but I need to lube it up to see if it's actually going to go away or not. But um, it may just be gritty because it's a little, a little dirty, but I pulled it right out of the right out of the box and it had that little gritty sound. It may go away with time. Like I said, I may have to oil it. I don't know. Um, it's not such a big deal. Okay, so there's no tools on the inside there. So we're just gonna close this back up. Chink. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna mention real quick is that these have super amazing big uh, finger holes right here. Now, most uh, most tools, multi-tools, have these little tiny little baby holes that I have to like cram my fingernail into and then try to get it out with my fingernail. Oh, I hate that. I mean, Leatherman is guilty of that, okay? And I hate it, okay? But this is a nice grip. I can grip onto it. There we go. And then it comes right out. It's way easier to pull out. Now, this is the blade. When I first tried this blade, it was like butter, man. It comes super sharp. I was just like shake, and I was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> super sharp, super amazing. So that's a definite plus right there. All right, nice, uh, nice tools here. Okay. So we got some of these. Look at that, look at that. Okay, and we're gonna go to the other side. And this is actually look, look, looks like a really nice saw. It actually has kind of double, I don't know if you can kind of see that, but it's like a double saw, double bladed saw. I have not tried it out just yet, but we're going to here in just a second. Um, so, but it looks really nice. It does look like one of the blades is slightly bent already uh, just from pulling it out and in, but we are gonna try it out. So the tools are not hard to get out at all, again, which is why I really love it. Okay, so we've got some of the tools here. There we go. So those are the remaining tools. Okay. Put that down, down, and just push it down. You gotta be careful. Ugh, you gotta push hard. Okay, one other little quirk with this is that it's slightly off. Let's see? It's ever so slightly off, and I keep trying to push it there, but every time I open and then close, it naturally goes back into that off kilter position, off center. So that is, um, you know, slightly concerning. Um, it's not really such a big deal, but, you know, it's just something to consider. Again, this is a $10 multi-tool. I have only used it a few times, but I am impressed with the quality so far. Uh, this is something that I definitely um, would take out regularly with me. Now, this doesn't have a clip. A lot of multi-tools themselves, like um, a lot of Leathermans and stuff, will actually have a clip attached to the multi-tool itself in case you just want to carry the multi-tool. This does not have its own clip. The clip would be, you know, in a sheath somehow. So it doesn't have its own clip. Um, maybe if you want to try to jerry-rig one on there yourself, hey, go for it, man. You just go for it. So I do want to go try out that saw. I'm pretty interested. Let's go try it out. All right, so this is just for demonstration purposes only. Dang! This thing is actually working really well. I did not expect this. Like almost all the way through this. Ah, I lost my rhythm.
Dang! Look at how far it got in just that short amount of time. Look at that. I'm like halfway through it. That's super impressive. I actually didn't think this would work that well at all. And all the, all the teeth still look fine. Look great. This is a super awesome multi-tool. Sure, it has a little issues here and there, but honestly, this is a great multi-tool. Way more impressed than I thought I would be. So for a budget multi-tool, this is definitely something that you're gonna wanna pick up. I found this at Walmart, $10. Go check it out, just do it. Just do it. Okay, so I'll put a link down below to where you can go check it out for yourself or just go to your local Walmart. And uh, I'll talk to you later, bye.